get the kilos. 50%. If you are not bilingual, get the fuck up by the town when you don't want to stand. You know I get the kilos. 50%. If you are not bilingual, get the fuck up by the town when we run your ass down. Fuck up by the town. So here we are Monday, April 24th, just finished our squat session. Three days ago, Kelly flies from Canada to Killeen, Texas, runs away with the raw bench press world title, super heavyweight. Two days later, comes up here, Oklahoma City, um, have, a, have a nice little squat off, squat session. Kelly's getting ready for uh, raw worlds here in eight weeks in Belarus. So I'm getting ready for the world games in, in uh, Poland in 14 weeks. Um, wanted to you know promote it. Kelly and I have been following each other for years and years and years, forever, and yeah. admire each other, have a ton of respect for each other. We squat the same, we got a ton of aggression, adrenaline, we like to get hyped up, and yeah. Kelly wanted to come up here to Oklahoma City after uh, his bench world, so we set it up and organized it. Um, the training fit really well for both of us. Ended up having an awesome day for both of us, hitting the PR of uh, 9.15 raw. Yeah. How do you feel about it, buddy? Honestly, man, it's just uh, it's a, it's a pleasure to be here. I followed, I knew about Blaine before Blaine knew about me because when I was on the injured reserve list, I was watching all you guys, you know, squat and this, this raw stuff was coming alive. And I knew, I watched Blaine and I watched Ray come up and Jezza and everybody. And But uh, I mean, I followed you for so long. And I, when I got to compete against you in Finland, it was so awesome. And the other guys competing against you. And then obviously, uh, I, don't, I don't know if you remember, but there was a moment uh, I'll never forget in Finland when we were all done, the deadlifts were done, Blaine came over to me and like we gave like the bro hug and then uh, he slapped me on the back and said, welcome to the club. And that was like, you know, I was like, you're fucking right, I made it. Like I was so pumped up from that. Um, we follow each other on Instagram. Uh, I always wanted to like, um, there's a lot of like powerlifting segregation, I think, where like guys don't want to like lift together because like egos or whatever. I'm more like, I want to lift with I would love to go every month and lift with somebody else, you know, like, and just see what the environment's like. But obviously your environment is, like, next level. It's, it reminds me of myself, the way you train, the way you get pumped up. Um, like I said, your technique, you both have the lean and everything. It's just, I'm so happy to be here, and uh, thanks for having me out, man. Yeah, buddy. Appreciate it. So what's your what's your height, your weight, and your best lifts? So, um, five, I think I'm 5'11". I keep getting a little shorter. <laughs> but, uh, you need to quit squatting so yeah, much. Um, I weighed in at, I had a personal best weigh-in in Colleen. It was uh, 365 pounds. And my best income squat is 930 pounds. Uh, my best bench press is 600. And my best pull is 740. It's ridiculous. Yeah. You? So, yeah. Well, first of all, heavyweights, you know, like everyone chases the PRs, right? Their squat, their bench, their deadlift, the total. Yeah. The heavyweights, the PR that we're most proud of is the weigh-in. <laughs> so, you know, before the meeting even starts, we're celebrating if we hit yeah. a new bodyweight oh, PR. Yeah, so. bodyweight PR, you yeah. know, I look at, you know, what they're opening up at, and then I like to see where everyone's at. Exactly, right? Yeah. I mean, they don't award a, a gold medal for heaviest, but they really should. Yeah. It's just as meaningful as the total. Yeah. And they, they always look at me weird in the weigh-in when I weigh in butt naked. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, I'm 6'3", yeah. I'm darn near 400 pounds now, it's a big PR for me. Huge. Um, my best raw numbers in competition are a 915 squat, a 529 bench, right up there with Kelly, and a, uh, I think a 777 deadlift. Um, I also compete single ply, that's my focus right now. Best numbers are a 1,113 pound squat, 904 bench, 817 deadlift, 2805 total. Um, so, Kelly, you got Raw Worlds coming up in eight weeks. Yeah. You got the absolute monster, Ray Williams. Yeah. You got the absolute monster, Jesse Uepa. And you're right up there with these guys pushing them on everything. So what's what's in store for Raw Worlds? You know what, every year, it, you know, it's a different battle. Um, obviously, Big Ray Ray, every time I lift with him, it's, you know, I've, I've tried to lift as much as I can. I've, um, it's, it's like, a, it's a pleasure to be born at the same time with 
you know, what people regard now as like the best lifter, you know, ever to lift raw, and I get to compete against him. So, um, obviously, the goal is for me, you know, I want to win a world championship, and I got a mountain in front of me with him and Jezza, and who knows how, <laughs> there's probably three other guys now that I don't know about that are coming up and going to total a thousand, but I mean, uh, I get shivers thinking about it. It's, um, it's all I want to do. I train my ass off every day, I work hard, and like, uh, it's just tunnel vision to me. That's, uh, I can't wait to land in Belarus and uh, I can't wait to hear that first uh, squat command. Yeah. You got the World Games coming up, buddy. Yep. Um, so what's going on there? Yeah, so the World Games, for those who don't know, it's uh, it comes every four years. Uh, That's now, Roe Claw. Yeah, Roe Claw Poland. Roklaw, Poland. Um, it's really cool how it, it works. So you pretty much have to qualify through the Equipped Worlds the year before. World Games only comes every four years and they split it up to, uh, there's only four weight classes. And they do it by Wilkes, not total. So they have, you know, like lightweight, medium weight, heavyweight, and super heavyweight. And they just place based on Wilkes. So um, really cool, different format. Never been before. Everything I've ever seen, it looks like the sickest powerlifting um, yeah. venue. Yeah. I'm going to enjoy it because it only comes every four years. So it's hard to qualify for. And then, you know, with the transition of the popularity from equipped to raw, who knows in four years if it's going to be, uh, you know, a good chance of being equipped or raw. Yeah. Um, and you're trained now by Mike Tashir, right? He's yep. coaching you. So yep. uh, I I worked with Mike for about two years. The smartest, best coach I've ever worked with. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I want to talk a little bit about your training. So today, like the way I'm training lately, I just work up to a single. You know, my, my biceps, my elbows, my shoulders can't handle reps in the squat. So today we both worked up to 915 raw, which is a training PR for us. We were both absolutely stoked, you know, fed off each other. I was pumped. Like I finished that 915, I was I feel like on top of the world, hit a PR. I, th I thought we were done because that's how I train. Kelly turns around. He's like, I got to do some down sets. I'm like, oh, all right, what do you want to do? Loads up 705. Did you do five sets? Five sets, yeah. Five sets of five reps. No, six sets. Six sets. Six sets of five six reps. Six. Every I, rep. Mike put six just to be in there. <laughs> <laughs> just to do five. Now he put six. <laughs> Every rep. So what was that? 30 reps. 30 reps of 705. Every rep looked like an empty bar. I mean, I was standing behind you to help you back in, not, not spotting you. And I just stand back there and up. It looks like an empty bar, but anyways, I was so pumped to be finished with like hitting the 915 for a single, right? I can tell you from experience, 705 for six reps of five is a hundred times more miserable than that. So yeah, props awesome. to Kelly, I would have died. Tell yeah. me, tell me a little bit about the training and how you go through getting. Well, I was always, that. I was always um, before Mike um, when I came into the sport. I just kind of made my own stuff up. I was always doing five by fives, lots of volume, bodybuilding accessories after. Um, but it was always on a piece of paper, and I'd write out like a 14 week peak. You've seen it. I've I've sent it to him. He knows what it is. And it would be like five by five, and then I'd have five by five, and then a five by three day, and then I'd go five four three two one, and I'd mix all these days up. Then I'd just have a top set day. And I mean, I was doing all the things right, but it was like um, when I started with him, Mike, he kind of like went like this with it and then you know like put it all together way more intelligently yeah and, um i recover like i've never been able to push myself especially in the bench and the squat and the deadlift um as far as i like to get that heavy every week and, and not fall apart yeah because i used to get heavy like that all the time and i would fall apart and i just couldn't get the combination to go i still had good numbers but i just kind of fall apart at the end because i have a 14 week peak and I'd be like, oh, I'll just train for 14 weeks. I wouldn't like go like this. With Mike, it's like this, and I get heavy, and then I come down do my volume, and it's working really good to me. But for you, you just do a 915, like this is a squat day for you. Yeah. And you've obviously, like I said, the most versatile powerlifter ever. So you, you've you adapted over time to different strategies. You know it works for you. Your training, I've never in my life heard anything like the way you do it. So go ahead. All right. I'm gonna talk about my training first. I want to say something. Let's point to something else about Kelly here. So, uh, at, at this size, this weight, handling the weights we do, I mean, it's super taxing on the central nervous system. Today is Monday. On Saturday, you benched 572 something. Yeah. One, one the raw bench press worlds. That was Saturday. Sunday, he drives from Killeen to Fort Worth yeah. and bench presses 500 for five. Paused. I told, I told, uh, I told Mike I still get. I tried to get my down sets in after the meet, but they, but when I was locked back out, I was getting drug tested, and then they cleaned all the weights up. So I was like, I gotta get my down sets in, right? Because like, I mean, I don't want to miss anything. Belarus is the goal. Yeah. So then I, I, Andy had messaged me, and I met him at the Metroplex. Uh -huh. 
Tyler, Fort Worth, and we did uh, all my down sets. I did a, a set of six at 495 paused. That's set, a set of six at 495 paused. So recap, Saturday, <laughs> with, he, he treats the raw bench press worlds as a training session. Not as a, just a training session, right? Just jumps in, kills the, kills the competition, wins bench worlds. Sunday, he drives to Fort Worth, smashes 500 pounds for six reps, paused. Monday, today, he comes up and smashes 915 raw squat, followed by 705 for six sets of five. Absolutely crazy. So, all right, my training a little bit. I worked with Mike for quite a while. Before I worked with Mike, 2013, I started working with him. Um, I had been a real like Western periodization, linear periodization yeah. type guy. One squat day a week, one deadlift day a week, two bench days a week. Um, felt kind of stagnant and wanted to experiment with some of the more high frequency stuff. Mike being who he is, I reached out to him and worked with him for about two years year and a half, um, completely opened my eyes to training in a completely different way. Um, you know, in my mindset, coming from a football background, I was like, oh, you can only squat once a week or you can't recover. With Mike, I was benching four days a week, squatting three, deadlifting three. So really opened my eyes to high frequency training, loved it. Um, now I've kind of gone back, you know, the the high rep squats, the heavyweight squats, really tear up my biceps, my yeah. shoulders, so can't really handle it anymore. So I'm back to, Back to doing singles pretty much now, just for squats. Um, bench, I still hit reps. Deadlift, I'm still low reps. Um, back to squatting once a week, deadlifting once a week, benching twice. And uh, my training really hadn't kicked off yet for World Games. I got about 14 weeks. So um, if you've been following my Instagram, I've been doing some bodybuilding work with a bodybuilding trainer. Just get something different. Been eating a lot more calories, need to put some weight on. More chicken shakes. More chicken shakes. Um, so I've been doing that for a while, it's been working. About two weeks, I'll really kick in the gear in my World Games training, get back in the gear, start chasing those numbers. All right, so huge thanks to Kelly for coming up, showing the world what he's made of. Be sure you're following him on Instagram and Facebook and checking his progress for the Raw Worlds coming up in eight weeks. I'm predicting a 1,000-pound-plus raw squat, 600-pound-plus raw bench, and I think he's going to get that deadlift close to 800 pounds. Make sure you're following him and his progress, getting ready for the uh, Raw Worlds here. And follow Vanilla Gorilla. He's gonna go a thousand, a thousand, eight fifty, or uh, sorry, no, fifteen hundred, fifteen hundred, eight fifty. <laughs> um, hopefully, the big man gets it done at the World Games and puts everybody to rest because uh, there's a guy that deserves it, and it's Blaine. So I want to thank him for having me out here. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at the uh, Great White North Juggernaut. Check me out. And you can follow me on Instagram at the Vanilla Gorilla ninety two. So. Follow our training and watching us get ready for some of the biggest meets in the world. Hey, and one other thing. Go have squat offs with other power lifters. Go have bench offs. Go have deadlift offs. Find that guy in the next state that's a little bigger than you, a little stronger than you. Go do it. It's awesome. Absolutely. Till round two. Woo! Thanks, brother. Mm. Thanks, man.